can't see the wind, but we can feel its effects. The swirling motions of air can toss an aircraft around, causing you to experience everything from minor discomfort to significant altitude variations. Understanding what causes turbulence can help pilots minimize its effects, or even avoid it altogether. Turbulence can develop in areas of unstable air called convection currents. Daytime heating produces rising warm air currents called thermals that slow-moving gliders search out for a long, smooth climb. But for a fast-moving plane, flying through each thermal can be like a large speed bump in the road. The cumulonimbus clouds, or CBs, of a developing thunderstorm can produce extremely unstable air, rising a few thousand feet per minute, so give them a wide berth. The degrees of turbulence can range from a light momentary gain or loss of altitude to extreme wind shear and updrafts and downdrafts, which can toss the aircraft around violently. Mechanical turbulence is caused by eddies flowing over and around objects on the ground, such as buildings, trees, and higher terrain. This turbulence on the approach end of a runway can make landings very challenging. Winds flowing over mountains can create turbulent updrafts and downdrafts in waves that will affect your airplane even from a distance of several nautical miles. One way to handle turbulence is by slowing down. This helps maintain control of the aircraft and softens its effects. When planning to land at an unfamiliar airstrip, check the Canada Flight Supplement for known ground effects. Before landing, check the wind speed and direction. It helps to visualize the airflow around an airport created by any obstructions close by and always make sure that the current conditions are acceptable for you and for your aircraft type. Part of every flight is expecting the unexpected. Being caught off guard by one of those airborne speed bumps could be, well, turbulent. 